My name is Michael Calzada. I'm the Residential Sound Installation Director. I've been doing this for a little bit more than four years. I have very qualified staff at each of these stations. They're here to help you every day that we're on the job. And we're on the job, literally, some of us more than others, 24-7. Uh, Do you want to make some introductory comments? Just, just a few remarks. You know, I'm glad to see everybody here. You know, one of the things that I focus on while I was running for mayor and after I became mayor was the, the condition of our residential sound installation program. We found out that we had a number of problems, particularly, excuse me, in the area of funding. We had missed out on a total of $27 million of funding. I've been working with LAWA. Uh, Mr. Allen, Mr. Calzada have been working to straighten out our records and we're going to seek reauthorization for those funds. That'll help us. But it should be noted that we probably have a total of $100 million exposure to finish what we need to finish in the program. And so we continue to, to solicit the FAA and LAWA to see what we can do between now and 2015 to uh, get this job done. So I'm glad to see the participation that we have. And we have a lot of information for you. And, and uh, we're going to do the best we can to insulate as many houses as we can between now and 2015. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. A lot of people think it, it kind of works block by block, but it doesn't exactly because the way they're invited, there is a priority working its way out from the airport. Um, and I'm not exactly sure who numbered the blocks, but there's a priority number to the block. So everyone on that block got invited at the same time, but not everybody applied at the same time. And like I say, that just the delay Let's between the two architects and contractors right. awesome. can make two people who have applied at the right. same time be two years apart. Hello, I'm Jorge Garcia. I'm a construction inspector with the City of Inglewood Residential Sound Installation Program. Um, this is a overall general project map of the program and uh, basically what the program entails. Here's a a smaller map that shows the relationship to the airport and Inglewood. Um, LAX has a north and a south runway and because of that there's two distinct areas of noise that go directly over Inglewood and as a result um, the airport and the FAA have determined that uh, properties directly underneath these two flight paths um, should be insulated from the noise in some way. Um, generally windows and doors and insulation and some other products which we use to insulate the homes from uh, the sound. So what you have here is you have what we call the noise contour. Um, the FAA provides funding for this but the airport itself also provides funding. So the FAA and LAX have different definitions of who's eligible and to what degree. So that's why you have these two outlines. Everybody within the orange outline is what the FA considers within the noise contour. The green outline is uh, LAWA or Los Angeles World Airports. They have um, their, their version of the contour. So you see theirs is larger. Um, people who exist between the two contours here um, the funding for to sound insulate these houses has to come uh, strictly from LAX, whereas here it, it's an 80 percent, 20 percent mix of funds to treat these. Um, as as you notice, more the the green represents properties which are completed as far as sound insulation. And if you notice, most or more of the houses are green within the FAA contour. Um, the, the way it works is, at the beginning of the program, blocks were assigned uh, priority. I'm not sure who, who decided, but it, it, it seems like it starts closer to the airport and works its way out. And so a lot of West Inglewood is done, whereas we have areas in East Inglewood which haven't even yet been invited, but will will be invited shortly, and uh, that's why you see these yellow, which means uh, eligible get to invite. And so it's kind of the way the progression works. Um, this right here is the cutoff. This is where the city of Inglewood city limit is on Van Ness. Um, 
the noise contour continues, but these residents here are handled by the city of LA, which has a similar program. Same goes for inside this contour. This is Lennox, unincorporated uh, part of LA, and uh, they have a, a similar program that does the same type of work. There are areas of the map, uh, mostly around Century, where the land has been rezoned into commercial, and uh, Although it's mostly commercial, there are some residential still left, and as of right now, they're not eligible because of the zone of the property. Um, and of course, you have people who are just literally between the contours. They're not considered eligible by either the airport or the uh, FAA. And uh, really, that's it. These are the different uh, council districts of Inglewood. So as you see, uh, District 2, doesn't apply to us at all and a lot of our work is in three four and one and so that is just an enlarged map of what you have here so th this is this was this area was uh, although it was far from the original uh, high priority blocks this area for some reason be, uh, was included in the pilot program I think kind of an experimental to see how we would treat because it's a very different housing stock when you get out here than here. So you'll notice that this area is very close to completion and it has been for a long time. This is, uh, was in phase two. Um, there are different phases uh, and they, they relate to the funding as they're released. The, uh, we, we are currently a, around phase nine uh, it goes all the way up to phase 11, so we're we're at phase nine, and a lot of these pi pilot properties were in you know phase one and two, and this a lot of this was phase two as well. Well, I, I love the fact that you really you really notice the improvement to people's quality of life uh, to varying degrees, of course, but some people. It's really a dramatic improvement. There are some apartment buildings which they look very dilapidated. I mean, very. And just installing brand new windows and doors and an air conditioning system, which, which we install, it, it's amazing the transformation it does because even though you're not remodeling the, the house, you'd be surprised. It, it really transforms the house. You can, you can see that the quality of life inside each unit has been improved dramatically. Um, you know, people's energy bills are going to be less. There's all kinds of positive <laughs> um, attributes to it, and uh, I really like that. It's very satisfying to to leave knowing that it was done properly. If you do put, go ahead and put the bars. Mm -hmm. When we do our work, we'll remove the bars, remove the windows, mm -hmm. we'll put the new windows, and if you want the bars back on, we'll put the bars back on. But if you don't, we, we don't. Now you've seen our, our windows, right? You've seen the sample? You've seen the sample? It has like a frame around. What it is, four tracks. The window's four tracks. And so, let's say you're in front, inside the house. You open, you have a slide, you open one window, and in the back you have another one. And then you have a screen. So, you close it, lock it, you close it, and then if you open the other side, same thing, you open one, and behind it's another. So it's like if you have two windows, you put two windows together, it's four tracks. Four tracks, so it's a lot safer, but some people still want their security bars back on. Two contours, the northern, northern contour and southern contour, and that's where the planes land. Southern contour, is, they're supposed to, this is supposed to be their flight path, right? Uh, the northern contour, and then the southern contour, that's where they're supposed to land. But once in a while they come out here or down here, and then that's when people start complaining, say, wait a minute, you know, I hear it just as loud as, you know, but they are supposed to land right in here inside of those two contours. There's about 500 homes on hold as a code issue, but we've done about 4,000 homes already, and perhaps another 3,000 more to go. The favorite part of my job is being able to help people uh, take care of the code issue so they can be able to participate in the program, continue the process. That would be the favorite. Hey. Uh huh. You have his work number and, and himself, so, and you'll have the others. So you always be in contact. That's the best estimated time frame that we have right now. But the minute that we do go ahead and conduct the advertising, you're going to get a letter in the mail saying that that step has been completed. Okay? Thank you. I'm sorry? Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, 9.30.
My name is Diana Andrade. I am the administrative assistant with the Residential Sun Insulation Program. My favorite part is actually getting to assist the residents uh, of the city of Inglewood. Free to contact you have one? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So as you can see, we have all of these ahead of the IT team. These are all these are projects listed. Okay, so like I was saying before, we have possibly have 12 groups that have not been advertised. Okay. So once this the funding gets released to us, okay, we go out and ask the I don't have anything to do with that. That's your politicians and all of them who get together and they get the funding get source. Nine fourteen? Yeah. Nine fourteen. Okay, so this one. Are you ready to come in your group? Oh, it's okay. The <laughs> funding. A certain amount of, we can only do a certain amount of groups I with a certain that. amount of funding. So, in the event that the next batch of funding that comes in allows us to be aggressive with our bidding, then instead of like, okay, look at it like this. Pretty much the status, One, two, three, yes. Oh, okay. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so, are you going in a certain order? Um, I'm going by whoever, yeah, by whoever's here, and then I'll just call out the now, group. I'm doing so three you. groups a month, so nine, I'm going to get to you pretty fast. Okay, see what I'm saying? Once again, but that's are only contingent of how you much have money. If we don't have the money, uh, we cannot no, do the work. If you don't have the money, you can't get anybody to do the get the advertising Every day when they work, after they work, they clean up. They don't leave a mess. No, they clean up. They clean their mess. They cannot leave a mess. They can't leave anything on your lawn. No. I've never seen them leave a mess. No. So, at the end of the project, they go in and clean your windows, you know, all the touch up paint, patch and all that stuff. So they'll show you as they'll show you because you'll look at them, take out the windows, and they will show you too. Because we're I don't like the way the painter is matching the paint. I tell them, hey, he didn't match the paint right. If he can't get the paint match right, they'll usually get another guy. Say if we have floor mats, mm -hmm. floor mats, okay. we take okay, we take those out. Yeah. And if you have a hardwood floor, we mash it off. So I to the best of our power. Of course, we don't want to put that to the media. Well, they everyone sent him over to this that's mine. Field measurements and that. And sir, do you remember which group you're in? Okay. So we're looking about next summer. We will assist you as quickly as we can in regards to finding your name, okay? And you've been here. Okay. What's the status of that? You are similar to that lady that you were standing here. Okay. There's my name. You just won't pass it. Okay, I'll go I'm going to ask, uh, what group is this? Well, I, we're trying to find out which group you're in. Because if you're in one of these groups right here, then I can assist you. I don't know which group they stated. I remember you, Mr. Leisure. Yes, sir. Okay. One last. Okay. Just one second. Okay. Es un que que ya están diseñados pero no tenemos el dinero todavía. Por ejemplo, ustedes están en el bordo de no, no, es el último grupo que pensamos que tenemos dinero. Sí. Sí. Así es que lo, lo mejor la mejor idea que tengo ahorita de cuándo se va a hacer es para para el final del año que viene o quizá el principio del, del 14 para el final del 13, 2013 o al principio del 2014 entonces es como un año eso es lo que pienso ahorita si, si nos dan el dinero como debe de darnos si, si todo el trabajo como debe de, de pasar eso es lo que pienso ahorita ¿Okay? Sí, ahorita a, a penitas pensamos que tenemos para eso. A lo mejor es que 
cuando salgamos a contratar esto, no sabemos cuánto nos va a costar. Puede costar un millón de dólares, puede costar un millón y medio, o, o si cambia la economía puede costar dos millones y se usa el dinero más rápido. Eso también afecta. Pero ahorita pensamos que, que esto en grupo tenemos dinero ahorita y vamos a empezar a hacer los ejercicios de, de la que viene. Pues eso es el último en esta categoría. Es que están mejor que estos, pero, pero no, no mejor que los más amigos. Sí. Well, one of the reasons that I've seen is that uh, in an effort to try and speed the process of our street, speed the treatment up of homes, uh, four architectural firms were hired to uh, produce designs more rapidly. As they completed their work, uh, they would turn them into us. We schedule them in the order that they get turned in. A person that signed up later might have been turned in in a group sooner, so they would get treated first. So there, there was, uh, properties got shuffled in that way unintentionally, and as a result of us trying to move faster. And to complicate the matter is, after we had all those uh, properties designed, uh, the funding didn't keep up with the, the speed of the design, so groups ended up in a queue waiting to be awarded, and that elongated the process. Well, we, we've continued to, uh, to uh, be it, contract and, and award groups and, and we, we've we kept our, our, all of our construction staff busy in the field uh, treating homes, uh, using every, using up all the funding that we have, as much as we have, you know, we, we use it all. So that means that you, you've already been packaged to go to the contractors, that's what the bid phase is. Okay, so currently you're in, you're in design, that means you've already been designed, they've already come to your home, the design team, they've already drawn your floor plan. They've already taken the calculations on your HVAC system, your doors and windows. Have you come in to make your selections on what you want? Okay, so everything's already been designed, ready to go out to the uh, contract to be it. Rooms are showing in construction. Yes. That means that they've already been grouped, the construction has already been awarded, the contract has already started to work. And now that could be anywhere. They could start to work over here, and they could be in the same group and phase. It could be at the latter part of the construction. Now my house is in design. I've already picked out everything I wanted to do. Yes, why is it still in design? Well, what happens is it has to, everything has to go out to be it once it's been designed. It's not just your place. There's 49 or 50 other dwelling units that have to be designed. And then it'll go to all the contractors for bid. They're, they're going to bid on all 49 or 50 homes. And then it goes to the lowest responsible bidder. You know? You being in this room says a lot because we want to make sure that you get the information that you need. We have a timeline, as the director mentioned, to 2015. So the good thing is that your work is still in progress. So this is me. No, this is John. This is uh, Wilbur. Yes. This is uh, Rudy. Rudy. And these two people here, they've been invited, but they haven't applied yet. That means they haven't come down to apply yet. Even though they've been invited by the uh, department. Okay. okay, that's why this is important to have this here for you. You see? Okay. Okay. So, call, call periodically. Oh, and the shit out of Thank you. And somebody that signed up first got given to one architect. And somebody that signed up later got given to another architect. The one that signed up later oftentimes has been turned in sooner. So then it got in the queue soon. So that's what I've seen happen over and over again. It's not that it wasn't anything intentional or anything that we needed to that people put it in the wrong order and give preferential treatment to anybody. But it, was, it got shuffled in that process of trying to speed it up. Uh, right now we have over a thousand homes ready to go out to bid but we do not have the money to do them quite yet. We have five or six contracts proceeding right now. We're closing up another three and four. Uh, we know we can do 500, 600 homes in a year with more than uh, $15 million a year. So if we get more than that next year, we'll be able to do half of what our uh, backlog is next year. So uh, we want you to stay in contact with us We'll provide you with the best information we have any given day of the week that you call us. Uh, there's information about uh, calling up for noise complaints. You have our office number. We have your address. Please stay in contact. That's the best thing I can offer you right now uh, as you get to meet our staff.